In uh, this video, I would like to look at calculating distances between features. So if we have towns in one layer and lakes in another layer, or all types of town, then calculating these distances between them. So if we go to QGIS, um, the primary thing to look for is that it will be under the processing toolboxes. If you just type in distance, we will see that they are um, under the, the tab of vector analysis. There are basically four tools that can be interesting. That's a distance matrix, which there is, um, I'll be talking about all of these in detail in a moment. So distance matrix, there's a distance to nearest hub line to hub. There's a distance to nearest hub point. And there's a nearest neighbor analysis, which is, well, it calculates the distance between an object and the nearest object of the same type. And it's primarily used to do um, analysis of clustering of data set. There are some things about how you can do this. So it's not, it, it's a bit of a, it, it, it can be a bit misleading tool to use. Um, so I won't cover this set in this section here. So um, the typical tool you want to do is that you want to use um, this distance to near to nearest um, hub as a point. This is, will be in most situations the one you would want, want to use. Um, but let's uh, just uh, change this data set a bit. So this is again our uh, natural earth data set. And we have lakes and we have uh, populated places and we have countries and we have clipped them and projected them to um, this uh, Lambert Koenig. Um, so you see all this LCC. So what we want to do is we want to distinguish between uh, capitals and non-capitals in our um, point data set. So I'll just uh, set a filter on it where I will filter on whether or not it is a admin cap. So this one should be equal to one, true, if it's a capital. So that gives us all the capitals. Um, and uh, we might change this ability to a big red dot. Um, and then I will duplicate this layer. So I've got two of them, and this one I will change the filtering to say those that are non capitals. So that's the rest of them. I'll change their symbol to a, uh, a black and a somewhat smaller dot. One. So here we got all of the our cities. So if we wanted to do a calculation from each of these non-capitals to what is the distance to the nearest capital, this would be a typical approach. So do this or be in distance to the nearest supermarket or station, a relatively typical um, problem. And this is where we'll use this uh, distance to nearest hop point data one. So we want this one. We can say, okay, our source is where we want data to come from. Would be our, ah, yes, maybe that was a bit silly. Uh, it's always a good idea to, you know, give them good names. Uh, so let's rename this one first, capital. And uh, this one, so capitals and non capital. Good. Um, now we can do our distance to nearest. We say we want to calculate the distance from our non capitals to our capital. And it asks us for a uh, attribute name so that is the name it's going to see 
and it's going to reference the nearest capital, what should it reference it by? So I wanted to reference it by its name. And I want measure units to be in kilometers. Okay. So I just run this one. And that was it. So what we have now, if you look at our layers, is that we have this hop distance too. Um, so what we can note it as it has over written, so we can see it on top of all of our non capitals. So we have all in on, and on top of them we have this. So for each point in our source, we have a new a new data set. And uh, if I use the I tool on a point, you'll see that we have our hop distance. And it should also click on the on the, the contour underneath, but it doesn't matter. And so this is the top layer. So this is the hop distance. What you can see is that down at the bottom here, it says this is closest to Berlin, and this is it's two hundred and fifty five kilometers to Berlin. And if we click on Manmu, we will see that the nearest capital to Manmu is Copenhagen, and there's 31 kilometers to Copenhagen. So this gives us um, some possibilities for visualization. So if I just, we could, for instance, um, take our points, and we could then symbolize them based on which capital they are closest to. So categories and use this hub name. So the name of the nearest hub. And now let's classify them all. So you can see that now we get this um, nice pattern where we can see which capital the, the, the non-capitals are closer to. And of course we could further just add a filter on it so that we will say that our distance <coughs> should be uh, less than uh, let's say 200 kilometers so now we this off so now we have filtered our data set of the capital and its surrounding non-capital towns that are within 200 kilometers of the capital. So this is in uh, many cases, uh, the tool that you will probably want to use for doing um, point to point um, distancing. So it's, um, it's really basically a question about, you know, what is it? But there's other tools that can do similar things and i'll be covering them in um, the other videos so hope to see you there bye